good late evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide. We're on May 12th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And man, a lot of strange events happening around the world. And just recently, I got an update here on a 5.7 US recorded in California. And we're going to look back into that right quickly here. But first, we're going to look at the suspicious skies over Russia as I've been investigating those forest fires for over the last five days and I'm just gonna give you who uh, an image here this is the last three to four days in Russia as I found those forest fires back on the 8th of May but the 11th of May does not exist with NASA worldview. What is going on here? May 12th does not exist with NASA worldview. What is going on? Suspicious skies over Russia. And I actually put, I threw out a possibility that uh, maybe they were testing the direct energy weapon, Do. Interestingly enough, morning Do talking about the do direct energy weapon maybe they are testing here this weapon to superheat high pressure rich as I had said and I've been mentioning it before in other videos they're modifying our weather they're doing it with natural disasters they are doing it with the chemicals they're spraying in the skies you can see here these fires have been building since May 3rd we're just gonna watch as they progress over the skies in Russia the smoke the seventh here very intense smoke But we're also talking about natural disasters all over the world as I've been broadcasting here with Morning Dew. And across Canada, we're dealing with floods in very dry conditions. Floods in British Columbia and New Brunswick. And that's been happening now for weeks. These events are occurring more often and in more populated areas. So stay aware and prepared for any kind of disaster folks because now anything can happen we know this and a lot depends on the weather and a lot depends on space weather as well so we'll be looking to the skies suspicious skies over Russia see if NASA wants to release any images we're gonna go over here to the Pacific disaster app that everybody and everybody in the world can get but uh, it always gives you a reference here to natural disasters around the world. Floods and fires and earthquakes and uh, volcanoes, active volcanoes, diseases. And they've been reporting those fires in Russia now for two weeks. And the fires in Australia as well. And those you can see from NASA satellite imagery with Worldview but only from May 10th. So this is May 10th over Australia. And you can clearly see the difference here between the clouds and the smoke. Those are some pretty large fires. Dry conditions all across Australia. Flooding conditions all across Southeastern Australia, as well as all the mountains in the Southeastern Australia covered in snow. They got almost a foot of snow. Higher elevation. All over the world, we're getting more snow. Increased moisture due to increased galactic rays penetrating our collapsed magnetosphere. This is a big deal. And 
just looking over the Himawari satellite over the Pacific Ocean. This is the very large low pressure system that brought all the snow and still rain to Sydney and parts of southeastern Australia. Floods in Tasmania, floods in New Zealand. I mean, we've got a busy, busy planet now. I'm not, I don't know if it's just because the internet is broadcasting more and more events, but things are ramping up. There's a lot of anomalies and phenomenons happening all over the world. And I've got some footage to share with you, so look for a couple new uploads tomorrow as I want to share some footage I got from my skies as we pay attention. So you can see here 5.7 recorded in Wells, California. Downgraded to a 3.5 on other sites. Looking over the around the world here, this is the last six hours. Living in some busy times. And I just wanted to give you here a show. This is the Northern Hemisphere uh, projected forecast for the next five days. Large low pressure heading into Alaska. Expect an uptick in seismicity. We're gonna be watching for that over the next couple days. So watch out Aleutian Islands, Cascadia fault line, and also the San Andreas fault line as we've got movement happening all over the world. And I'm a visionary and my vision is scary. And I've seen things. And I know how it works. So please, just stay aware and prepared. Have a couple weeks worth of food. Set aside canned food, whatever, perish non-perishables. A couple cases of water. Make sure you have a medikit. So that was the Northern Hemisphere, and you can see very large low pressure developing in the Atlantic later on in the week. We'll see how that plays out. But it's the Southern Hemisphere that is just a wee bit concerning right now. I just want you guys to watch this. size of this low pressure developing in the southern Atlantic Ocean. Wow. In my full year of documenting and in all of my time, I've never seen something so big. We're going to get into that in upcoming videos, but wow, that's all I can say. That is a huge system. And if everything happens the way I think it's going to happen, and the way I've seen it happen, we need to be ready all across the world. And that's why countries and the United Nations are getting ready all across the world. Hashtag Agenda 2030. Hashtag Grand Solar Minimum. And this is what I've wanted to share with everybody from around the world. I've been able to share my message and my research with everybody in the world and that just fills my heart. 
and that just makes me so happy. Thank you all for watching today. Love you all. This has been an amazing ride. And I have you to thank. All of my subscribers who are watching every day, hitting that like button and sharing maybe on their social media. Much love and thanks to you. If you guys weren't watching, I wouldn't be doing it anymore. And I must be doing something right because people are still watching. So ain't no stopping me. Things are only going to get better from here. So yes, very interesting indeed. You saw that killer large low pressure system developing. Southern Hemisphere is just going nuts right now. Compared to the Northern Hemisphere, there's a big difference. But this has been Mike with the Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Thanks for joining me today. I just wanted to talk to you about the strange phenomenon that are happening all around the world because living in some crazy times. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thank you.